Hi guys, it's Mark again. Um, I'm finally back and welcome to this new series of videos that I thought I would do on um, VMware Horizon virtual desktops. So I'm going to split this series into uh, parts just to make it a bit easier to follow and this video is going to focus on the VMware uh, connection server installation and configuration and then later episodes we'll have creating a template image deploying that image pushing out updates to an image and that sort of thing but as I say this first episode is just going to focus on getting the initial uh, VMware Horizon server up and running so I'm just going to swipe over to my Windows 10 virtual machine that I've got running so there's nothing particularly special about this virtual machine um, really just running running on an SSD on my server actually 4 gigs of RAM joined to a domain nothing particularly magical I've got two things already open um, this is the console page for my ESX host which is where all the VMs run I'll need to be logging into that in a short while and I've already opened a remote desktop session to the server that is going to be our view connection server so this machine again nothing massively special server 2016 data center 4 gigs of RAM dual core not particularly sure on kind of the ideal memory requirements but 4 gigs always been enough for me um, and as you can see again domain joined and I've named it view app 01 so I've already copied the VMware view connection server uh, installer from my NAS share onto this box one thing to note um, this may change when view um, 7.1 comes out which seems like it's going to be relatively soon but this executable if I try and run this it probably won't now actually now that I've said any of this you'll get this so basically server 2016 is newer than when this was written so you can't just run the installer all you need to do is right click go to properties compatibility and I just change this to Windows 8 and I tick this just for good measure double click again and actually do you know what while we're here I'm just going to turn off user account control because it drives me up the wall so, let's, so now that we've done the compatibility double click again and there we go so Horizon 7 connection server you can see it's 7.0.3 um, hopefully 7.1 will be out soon and if anything massively changes I will update you all so accept this you know that we're quite clearly going to read next default location this is a standard server um, replica is as you can see is to, to um, have a group of servers security allows um, you to access the VDIs externally um, so normally that would be kind of on the outside of a firewall um, and you'd connect to this and this would then pass through the connection to your normal server HTML access, we're going to say yes, I'll show you that later on and it's an IPv4 uh, server instance so we'll hit next again I'm going to enter a data recovery password which I've already done just because I had to redo this section and next, configure firewall automatically, yep next again this lets you choose who can access um, Horizon View Administrator so it's automatically picked me out because I'm logged into the server you could put a group in here so enterprise admins, domain admins whatever you want to put in hit next I'm not going to do that and install 
Now this isn't going to take very long because um, this server is running on an SSD but if you're running on a traditional hard drive you may find that this will take longer um, it will all just depend on your server configuration that you're installing on. You can see there it's, it's added a Horizon 7 admin console shortcut which goes to forward slash admin as you can see there just loading the directory services for the AD schema which probably is the longest section of the installer all done so I'm not going to show the readme and finish right so now it's installed I'll double click on the console you'll get this because it is a self signed certificate if we go here you see it's issued by itself to itself and what I'm going to do just to make this a bit easier is use this machine instead although saying that I can't remember if I've got a flash on here either no I do fabulous so let's go to forward slash admin my domain credentials and it will log me in so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to I will edit this bit out as I don't want you all to see uh, my license key so you have to go to edit license and paste in your license so I will pause the video and put my license code in and then be back with you so license is entered what I'm going to do also to try and just make this a bit easier is let's go back to our view server and load the management console and we want to go to certificates add uh, computer account go in here and you will see this one with VDM now VDM is how Horizon View identifies which certificates you use so what I'm going to do is change this to VDM hyphen old and now what we'll do is replace the self sign certificate with our own externally signed certificate so we'll do import certificate browse to my pfx for my certificate I've got a wildcard so I can use it for any server import that and then what we need to do is go to the properties and change this to VDM and apply now sometimes I don't have to restart the view server there we go. So now we've got a secure connection and it also means I can use Chrome, which is nice. So let's let that log me in. There we go. So connection servers, saying the certificate's invalid, but that will uh, that will go away once I restart. That's because I haven't restarted the service, so it still thinks that it's using a self-signed one other things we need to do is go in to servers and add our vCenter server so my vCenter server is vCenter01 
is I've got a self signed certificate on my vCenter server, so we just need to view and accept it. I don't use Composer because I'm going to use Instant Clones. And done. Um, so that's vCenter added. And as you can see there, there's our view connection server instance. And that is about it for the initial configuration. Um, again, let's verify this certificate. refresh to be green um, and I will, once I've restarted the service this will also change to be green so I will do that now and come back to you just so you can see what this will look like when it's all finished so I uh, restarted the service logged back in and as you can see they've gone green this one I haven't configured an events database uh, just because I don't have my SQL server running at the moment but you would essentially put in your server address, the username, password and the database name and it just gives you some way to log all the events. So that is all for part one. Um, I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe for the future videos. Uh, the next one will be the uh, creating the desktop pool and creating the initial virtual machine template that will be used for the VDIs. So if you've liked what you've seen, please uh, do subscribe so you won't miss any future videos and hit that like button, really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.